Hello, my name is Lightwalk. Welcome to my tutorial. In my last video I presented my new battery status script and explained how it works. If you missed it, you'll find all needed links in the description. Today I will show you how to install my script and I made some available settings you can change very easy. That all I will show you in this tutorial. If you not already have my script, you get it from my Steam Workshop. Just press on subscribe and you're already done. Back in Space Engineers, you have to paste your script into your programmable block. For that, open your control panel, search for your programmable block and press on edit. Now press on Workshop and search for my script. Click on it and at least press OK. After that, you see my script pasted into your programmable block. All you have to do is click on compile and after it's done, press on save and close. And we are finished. The script start his work. But our LCD panel shows again no information. So there is one more thing left we have to do and that is to edit our text panel. How this works and like I told you there are some more available settings and now I'll show you how we can edit them. Again go to your programmable block and press edit. You can edit the script right here or for a better view we use an alternative program like the editor or on software with on syntax highlighting. Therefore press Ctrl and A to select complete script and press Ctrl and C to copy the script. After that Open your editor and paste it. The script looks much cleaner to work with. Because of the syntax highlighting, I prefer Note++, so I use them. There we are. The highlighting you see is not a default. I was not able to find a C-Shop add-on for this software, so I written my own one. C-Shop, by the way, is the programming code the programmable block is using. Now on the top of the script you find the available settings in three categories Generals, Display Settings and Other Settings. For each of the settings there is a short description on it. We start from top to bottom. On Generals the first one is the name tag of your LCD panel. That means only the LCD panels with this tag included to their name will be show the status. You can change the name of this name tag if needed. Now select the name tag and copy and paste it to the names of all LCD panels you want to show the status. In our case we have three LCD panels. Also you have to change the font of the LCD panel to monospace, otherwise the LCD shows not that what we want. Show public text on screen, font size, color of the font will be changed by the script itself. Just the font I was not able to change automatically. So if you know how to do that, please write the code in the comment section below. That will be nice. After we close the control panel, the script shows the status on all LCD panels we included the name tag. But there are some more settings. Now come to the second one. By default the script search for all batteries attached to the grid and show their status. But sometimes you won't be able to show only specific batteries, then set only battery with name tag to true. After that the script needs to know which battery you want show their status. Therefore copy the battery name tag below and paste it to all your batteries you want. So we put the name tag on four of my batteries. Before you save and close, you have press again on compile. This you have to do always when you are changing the script. And now only the four batteries with the name tag are displayed, all the rest will be ignored. Next add display settings, 
you find the white LCD mode to show up to 100 batteries. But this then works only for white LCDs. On standard LCDs you see then just the half information. To enable the white LCD mode, just change it to true. Also we change a specific battery back to false. Compile and save. So now let's fill it up to 100 batteries. And we see on the white LCD all works correct, but the two other LCDs don't show the full information. By default the script changes the size of the battery symbols depending on the amount of batteries displayed. So when we have a maximum amount of 10 batteries on standard LCDs and a maximum of 20 batteries on white LCDs, the script shows large symbols for the batteries. All battery amount above, the script changed to small symbols. So let's say we want to show only small symbols, anyway which amount of batteries we have. Then we have to set only small signs enabled to true. So, now only small signs will be used. The next setting in our list is the self-updating system. Thanks to one of the latest updates for space engineers, we are able to use a new system, which means there is another way to activate a programmable block without using a timer block. Just a code inside the script and the programmable block is updating automatically. The self-updating system is enabled by default and set to update every two seconds. If you want to disable this option, you have to change self-updating sys enabled to false. Also you can change the time for update on self-up sys per second. Just put here the time and seconds you want. Now we are at the other settings. To disable one of the following options, just change from true to false. The first one is the battery title. On battery title enabled, you can disable the battery status title shown on the top of the LCD. Also, you are able to deactivate each of the displayed lines. On underline one enabled, you disable the underline below the title. On that space line enabled, you disable the middle line between battery amount and stored NG. And on underline 2 enabled, you disable the underline below battery amount and stored energy. The next settings are for the amount of batteries, stored energy and power supply. On battery amount enabled, you disable the battery amount displayed on the LCD. On battery all stored energy enabled, you can disable the amount of displayed stored energy. On power input enabled, you can disable the power supply status. And at least you can change the brightness of the LCD panels. Just enter a number between 0 and 255 at LCD bright. 0 is totally black and 255 is full brightness like by default. And we're done! I hope you enjoyed my first tutorial. If you have any questions, write it in the comment section below. In my next video, we're going to talk about a new hydrogen status script. So don't forget to subscribe for more of my scripts and projects in the future. And maybe you leave a like, that helps me a lot to grow up my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.